Hi, this is Brad Linder from Lilliputing, and I'm here with an Asus EPC T91 uh, convertible netbook with a touchscreen display, which can be swiveled and folded down for use in tablet mode. And I wanted to uh, show you a couple of things about the user interface here that make this uh, stand apart from uh, some of the other uh, netbooks that you would find. And they're mostly to do with the fact that it has a touchscreen display. I'm um, also going to talk a little bit about the performance because this netbook has a Intel Atom Z520 processor which runs at 1.33 megahertz. It's a little bit slower than the uh, N270 and N280 uh, processors which run a little bit faster uh, and are found in a number of other netbooks. So first, let's go ahead and uh, log in here. This is a, a demo unit. And you can see, um, you know, sort of looks like a regular Windows desktop. I personally tend to like having the, uh, um, can you see the interface okay there? I tend to like having the um, taskbar to the side, but you can put it wherever you want. Um, and you can navigate the screen using the touchscreen display. But, uh, there's also a special program on here called Touchgate, which is designed specifically for tablet use. In this screen here, we're actually interacting with Yahoo Widget Engine, so you can add widgets for weather and other things. It uh, takes a moment to load, which is kind of problematic, if you ask me. Once it's loaded, you can see some weather up here, you can change uh, your options. Now here's the main screen for, uh, for the touch software. And you can see that we've got an internet radio, calculator memos, preferences, photo fun, notepad, and internet explorer. And you can drag any of those up here to your quick launch bar and have just a handful of shortcuts. Uh, I'll show you what a couple of these look like. There's a uh, little screen for memos, and you can access these memos from the regular Windows XP interface as well, and you can uh, post them to your desktop um, so that when you're in your Windows desktop, you'll actually see them on the side. There's a, a notepad application, looks very similar, and it's made easy for navigating with a touchscreen display, create new, done. And one thing that's really interesting here is even though the EPC T91 does not come with Windows XP Tablet Edition, which is really optimized for using a touchscreen display, it does include a couple of optimizations for Internet Explorer 7, which ships with it, that will let you do things like instead of just dragging through screens on the sidebar, you can drag anywhere in the screen. Now you can also bring up an on-screen keyboard so that if you are using this in tablet mode and the keyboard's not handy, you can go ahead and type anything you like. And you can make the keyboard larger too, if you want. So let's uh, visit one of my favorite websites. And if you don't like the on-screen keyboard, you can also use uh, built-in handwriting recognition. But honestly, I find it a little bit easier to use the keyboard for most purposes. And let's make that go away. Close. So uh, here you go. You can see how we can uh, actually just, well, we should be able to just drag on the screen. But here's one of the other things I wanted to point out, which is that Internet Explorer, using this lightweight processor and possibly with these touchscreen optimizations has a tendency to freeze up on me pretty frequently. And uh, I don't know if you can see in the upper corner here, you'll actually see that the uh, screen's gone a little bit white. Okay, now we seem to be back, but again, we're not able to scroll anywhere and it's fr frozen up on me. And this is something I've noticed happen a couple of different times in different applications, or di on different websites. For example, using Google Reader, which is something that, as a blogger, I do every day. I'm, I'm constantly flipping through sc stories on Google Reader. Personally, I find it easiest to use the keyboard shortcuts to navigate that page, but uh, with the touchscreen, the easiest thing to do is to flip by, and I find that um, when I try to do that, 
it freezes up on me uh, very frequently. I contacted ASUS about this problem and um, they told me that it's uh, sort of a known issue but that they think performance is good enough uh, that they don't have any concerns and there's no plans to fix it. Um, I'll be perfectly honest, Firefox works just fine, other web browsers work just fine, but those web browsers don't have these uh, touchscreen optimizations, so you're pretty much left to just using them by navigating as if you were using a regular mouse or using the keyboard shortcuts. Let's go ahead and close out of here. And then to get out of the touchscreen interface, you just flick to the side and we're back at regular Windows desktop. Now there's also a docking application up here which gives you quick access to some of those programs that I showed you from the normal Windows desktop so we can get to the memos and there they are again and you can see the uh, up here we've got the shortcuts for those memos and go back to the dock get an under fun touch again for example there's a large calculator and a little notepad here also up here you have access to a couple of other EPC utilities. Um, there's a handwriting keyboard button that brings up the keyboard again. And there's uh, shortcuts to other utilities, for example eSharing, which lets you share files with other users on the network, and eVibe, which is a, a service that's actually set to launch pretty soon, which is going to give you access online to um, uh, music, movies, and other media files from, from ASUS. And I was trying to show you actually, now that I thought about it, the, um, there's a utility that lets you right click by pressing and holding a spot on the screen, but it's really finicky and hard to, hard to use. So again, if you're, if you're using this in touchscreen tablet only mode and you don't have a keyboard and you don't have a mouse and you don't have access to the touchpad um, you might want to press and hold to try to access that there it goes the right context menu but it's still not really working what you'll see is as you press and hold you have to hold your hand very steady very steady And you should see a little mouse icon pop up after a couple of seconds. I'm about ready to give up here. There it is. And when it stops flashing, you get a right context menu. It's pretty awkward to use, and I wouldn't really recommend it. So overall, you know, Asus put a put a pretty good effort, I think, into trying to make this more touchscreen friendly and make it something that you can interact with without using a keyboard. But it's still not necessarily the most useful thing. Um, you might want to hold out for Windows 7, which is going to be coming later, which will uh, have more touchscreen capabilities built right into the operating system and be much easier to navigate. Um, but, you know, if you still see some value to not necessarily having the right-click function work properly, uh, if you have no problems using the on-screen keyboard as it is, and if you are fine with scrolling using a um, sidebar as opposed to um, being able to scroll anywhere on the screen using Windows Internet Explorer 7, you know, I, I think the software is still reasonably good. Um, the uh, The slow processor, though, is a little problematic when uh, Internet Explorer does freeze up on you pretty frequently, depending on the applications that, or the web applications that you're using, or the websites that you're visiting. And that's about it for now. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing. Stay tuned for more information about the EPC T91.